So in the finale of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion, Erica Jane accuses Kathy Hilton of using a homophobic slur during their time in Aspen. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So... We heard rumors about a slur that was used in Aspen, allegedly from Kathy Hilton. And this, we heard this directly, allegedly, I'll say, from Lisa Renna in on her social media. So when we were watching and recapping the show, we were like, she just wanted to do a conga line? She just said a few hateful things towards her castmates that some of you agree with? Well, now, according to TMZ, this comes out during the final part of the reunion that allegedly Kathy Hilton used the homophobic slur while they were in Aspen. And Erica Jane is the one to bring it up. So let me unpack this for you and then I'll share my thoughts. And this is an exclusive from TMZ. They said that Erica Jane is a make is making a big accusation against Kathy Hilton at the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion finale, claiming she heard Kathy utter a homophobic slur, but Kathy flat out denies it happened. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ during the reunion finale, Erica accuses Kathy of making a homophobic comment back when the cast went to Aspen. And you may, if you've been following the story, that allegedly this homophobic slur was made at this nightclub because the DJ wouldn't play a Michael Jackson song. And then every time I think about that, I think about what Crystal said, it's problematic to play Michael Jackson. All right. So they continue to say, so sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ during the, re the reunion finale, Erica accuses Kathy of making a homophobic comment back when the cast went to Aspen. We're told Erica claims Kathy used the slur against someone the cast was around earlier this season. But production cameras were not rolling when the alleged incident happened. Huh. So was Sutton's assistant in, in Aspen? I feel like we saw Sutton's assistant a lot this season. But I don't recall him being in Aspen. But you never know. Just because we don't see them doesn't mean that they're not actually in town with these housewives. So I wonder if it was used against him. Rewind. Elephant brain. <laughs> There's just so much that unpacks when it comes to pop culture. It was him. And then we saw the picture of Sutton, um, her assistant, and Kathy together. Oh, my. See, I'm, I'm going to keep this all in. Keep my fourth wall in. Thanks, Candace. Okay. So, it's all coming together now, Yeah, Yeah, I couldn't remember all the details of this story. Because I was like, wait, who was it? So apparently, this is who, who they're saying it, it was. So our sources say production investigated Erica's claim following the Aspen trip, but found it's basically a case of she said, she said, Erica's word against Kathy's. Here's the thing. We just were talking about Ebony K. Williams' accusations against Ramona Singer and Bravo's investigation of that. Because when this all came out that there was a homophobic slur that, that, that was said amongst this cast of co-workers i said this to you to you as well okay if an accusation was made like this bravo has a responsibility to investigate it so according to tmz bravo did launch an investigation because of the accusation so say that being said we're told erica's allegation was not edited out of the reunion finale which airs wednesday and in the episode kathy's adamant she never used the epithet and says Erica is a liar. Well, look. <laughs> Here's the thing. That is true in a lot of different ways. In a lot of different ways. But we can go back and forth, and I'm sure we will, in the comment section about the credibility of Erica Jane and Lisa Renna. But we can also say the same about Kathy Hilton. I've said this before. We did a whole video talking about Kathy Hilton, her children, and their history. Okay, but we'll focus. So according to TMZ, they said uh, Kathy has others backing her up. 
Our sources say after Kathy's strong denial, several other RHOBH stars spoke up in her defense. Interestingly, we're told Kathy's sister, Kyle Richards, is sitting quietly next to Kathy during the back and forth with Erica. More evidence of their fractured relationship. And word on the street over the weekend, Kyle was not at Nikki's birthday party. She wasn't at another family function as well. TMZ says that they broke the story that the sisters are barely on speaking terms after filming the reunion shows and Kathy insists she won't return next season if Erica and Lisa return. So here's the thing. Like I said to you before in coverage of this season, look, I am so happy that the season's about to be over because it's been draining between what's been transpiring on the show and what's been transpiring on social media with the fans because everybody's team somebody and I keep telling you, be team you. But... As I said to you before, I'm glad that at least, at least, and maybe Andy will mention this during the conversation that this was investigated. And as a company, as the human resources department investigating things like this, if there's no one to corroborate this information, there's not much that they, that they can do. Especially if the person involved the, the, that she used this slur against doesn't cooperate or say that did happen. Now I want to talk to Sutton's assistant. Did it happen? But like I said, and some of you would say it was damage control, that photo that they all took together. But Sutton it, Sutton was at, at one of the parties this weekend and Kyle wasn't. And a, a lot of people were speculating that there was a rift in a friendship with Sutton and Kathy Hilton. Well, based off of this weekend, there is no rift. I cannot wait for this season to be over. But like I've said before, Erica Jane and Lisa Renna's credibility is shaky at best. I told you one of the clips that came out this week in regards to the earrings, Erica is saying it's on appeal for legal reasons. And she Andy tries to press her a little bit more about that. And she said she says the same exact thing. What are the legal reasons, Erica? I just don't understand. Look, I understand initially you're not just going to automatically give give the earrings to over to someone asking for them. But when they lay it out to you that this was bought with client money. So you do not own these earrings. Yes, they may have been given to you as a gift, but it was a stolen gift when you think about it. Look, I'm no lawyer. <laughs> oh, damn. However... Morally, I wouldn't want to keep it. But legally, based on what they've found so far, they don't belong to her. Of course, her legal right is to appeal it. I just don't know, lawyers in the comment section, if she's actually going to be able to win those back when they have receipts of how Tom Girardi bought those earrings. Guys, as always, I don't know how if you feel like I feel. I'm ready for the season to be done with. I don't know if Lisa Renna's coming back. Some of you have said that you don't want Erica Jane to come back. I just don't see Bravo making those sorts of big cuts with a show that's making them a lot of money. They're not doing it. Lisa Renna, though, based on her social media behavior, I can see them definitely um, getting rid of her. And, or it, it's already been decided. I know her publicist just released a statement talking about what was posted. And it was like, it was just this whole rigmarole of what they were explaining and it's like did she post it or did she not but so many of you saw when she posted it guys as always let's continue this conversation in the comment section don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload thanks for watching